name is Josie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are trying all traditional Thai drinks that you have told me to try. Let's go. Okay, so you know that I'm gonna go and try some Thai drinks or drinks that you get in Thailand. I think one of my most requested videos is trying new things, but also trying drinks, which I haven't done that much of yet. So we're gonna go and we're gonna see me ask for some Thai drinks. It's from what you told me as well. So you're also gonna see me try and say the Thai name for them and see if we get what we asked for. We're gonna try them all, see which ones I like, see which ones I don't. We've got about six to seven different Thai drinks to try. And then at the end, we have a little bit of a bonus for you. So make sure you stick around to the end to watch what it is we do then. But let's get into it. <laughs> so what do you have? Do you have Olang? Olang? Oliang. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I get a uh, Nom Yen and Nam Boy? Yeah. And <laughs> wait. <laughs> How do I say it? Oliang. 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 Nom Yen. Nom Yen. And Nam Boy. Nam Boy. Yeah. Nam Boy. Mid Noi Thai. <laughs> oh yeah, very good. So, you guys are you from? Uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah, yeah. Thai. Ooh. Ooh. Tower right? Hot? Uh, 75 baht. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have Nom Yen. O Liang. O Liang. Nom Boy. And Nom Boy. So, they're three different Thai drinks. He mixed them all up. He got some sweet condensed milk for some of them. He got some, I assume, what's plum for some of them as well. He put them all in like with Thai coffee or Thai hot milk or hot water or something. Whatever he does. Whatever he does, he makes them for me. And it was really interesting to watch. I really liked them, like watching them do that. If you don't know in Australia, we don't have street vendors like this. So seeing these things for me is always really special. Okay, so we got the drinks. I wasn't very good at saying what it was in Thai, so he barely understood me, but we got there in the end. Okay, so we just got the first three drinks. So this one here is Nam Boy, which I'm assuming boy means plum, because there's little plums in the top that he also put in and mixed with it. So I think it's some kind of tea. I'm not sure, but it's kind of like a soda looking texture at the moment and it's got the, I guess, plums on the top, which he mixed in with them. So tell me in the comments below, tell me everything because <laughs> I'm not going to know much about what I'm drinking today. Where's the straw? All right, so let's try the Num Boy, which is salted plum. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> There's zero for one. <laughs> oh, I was kidding. Mix up a bit. Mix okay. up a bit. <laughs> What is that? What is that taste? Plum. But, oh, I don't know. Plums are like normally like super sweet, aren't they? It tastes fermented. It tastes like, uh, it's honestly very refreshing. It's very cold. It's like a hot day. I don't like that one. <laughs> I would probably give that one a two out of 10. <laughs> that one's not my favorite. That one's not for me. <laughs> okay, so the next one we have is the O Liang but it's basically Thai style black coffee with that sweet. So we're gonna try this and I am a little bit scared because if you know me and if you've been here for a while, you know that I don't like sweet coffee. I normally like it with no sugar, no sweet, nothing. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> I think it's got a little bit of like brown sugar or notes of brown sugar or like condensed milk or something. Tell me in the comments what's in it besides the coffee. But the sweetness in this hasn't, like, isn't actually that bad. It, it kind of needs it. The sweetness counteracts the Thai, really strong, bitter taste of the coffee, if that makes sense. I don't think I'd choose to have this every day. A three or a four out of 10. <laughs> Had to try it though, very popular. So many of you told me to try this one, so I'm glad I tried that one. Nom Yen, that's right. So pinky milk, it's made with a red flavored syrup in with some milk as well and I think it's quite sweet so that's much better <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like kind of like a like a strawberry milk but not really like it, it has like a bit of a different taste than strawberry milk I'm not really sure how to describe that one it's not full milk like it's not as thick or as dense as milk it's kind of 
kind of nice. I want to give that like a 7 out of 10. That was pretty. That's a winner. I like that one. We have to see what is next. We have another four or five more to go. I'm not sure. So let's get on the bike. Let's go. Good cop and cat. Okay, so we have a couple of drinks to get here. We're going to try for some tea and also I think like a Thai coffee or something like that. So let's see what they have. So what do you Enchan Manau. Nam Kek Hawaii. Huh? Nam Kek Hawaii. Nam Nam Kek Hawaii. No. Me boy. Tam. Oh, my owl. How right, Bob? Uh, this is about 25. 25. So we have Cha Yen, which is Thai milk tea, which is obviously one of the most popular ones anyway. I think if you're not from Thailand, this is sort of what we think is like a, is a Thai like traditional drink or something. We don't normally have like all of the other ones. So it'd be cool. I think they all taste a little bit different. So it does depend on where you go and what it tastes like and stuff. But let's go back to the motorbike and try. Okay, so out of all of the ones we're trying right now, I think this is the one that I've actually had before, but it was one of the most suggested to try. So, but this is Thai milk tea. So we can get this from like Thai restaurants and things at home too, but. <sighs> mm. I like that. <laughs> I don't know if, fun fact, when we were at home in Australia, Michael would take me to a Thai restaurant and I used to order like two of these. <laughs> this was my favorite Thai drink or Thai milk until I got to Thailand and I tried something else. And I'm gonna show you what that is at the end of the video. So this was my favorite, but now I have another favorite. So make sure you stick around to find out what that is. Nam Kek Hoi. No. Enchan Mai Nao. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Shai. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna try. You got the butterfly one or not? That's that one. Oh, cool. The Chai Gao Nom Sot. No, okay. We're trying and trying and trying to get a few of the like your cults and other ones, but we're not we're not getting them. I don't know if it's my accent or like they don't have the things, but this one is An Chan Ma Now. Hold on, let me just check that. <laughs> Close enough. Butterfly pea with lime. So let's try that. And I saw him like cut up the limes and everything like that. I'm not sure where the butterfly bit comes from. Maybe leave that in the comments. <laughs> it looks really nice. It's like got like a red orange tinge. I've never even heard of this before or had this. So I don't know how, I, I don't know what I expect from this one. I like it. I like this one. I like the butterfly pea. I've had it before. You had it before? Mm -hmm. Really? You mm -hmm. didn't tell me that. Yeah, you need to be objective. Wow, what taste is that? It kind of tastes like it's got the same sort of like, sort of half sweet, half sour taste. This is like really quite sweet. This is nice. This is pretty cool. I don't know how it gets orange. Tell me what else you put in in the comments below. But I like this one. I don't know how to describe it though. I don't know. Do you know what's in it? Butterfly pea. <laughs> well, I don't know what butterfly pea is. Butterfly pea. No, it's not. I think that's like an eight out of 10. So we've just driven all the way to the next suburb in Santanam from Niman to try and find these drinks you guys are telling me to get. So let's hope there's some here. Chrysanthemum. No. Uh, Yakult. Uh, grass jelly. Chow guy nom sod. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Chai, one, please. Oh, cool. Okay, so I think we got the grass jelly one. So. Fresh milk grass. Fresh milk grass jelly, I think. So we did come to Santanam just to try and find a street vendor that did the ones that we couldn't find. We still can't find Yakult and we still can't find the chrysanthemum tea. So. I don't know what I'm going to do about them, but she did have grass jelly. I would say that I don't normally eat things like this. It's got like cubes of squares of jelly on the top. And I don't know what else she put in it, but it was like syrup down the sides and she sprinkled something on top. I think it's brown sugar. Um, and if it's brown sugar, I like brown sugar. So maybe I like this one, but I normally don't do well with texture, which is like the jelly stuff. I'm good with bubbles, but it took me a while to get used to like the bubbles. So look at this, it like sludges. What is that? Don't overthink it. It's just syrup. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> okay, it's really good. <laughs> Must be brown sugar. Okay, it's not bad. I, I think I prefer bubbles, but let me just eat some. Ready? Jelly tastes like brown sugar bubbles, but not as chewy. They're just really soft, like jelly. Okay, so I definitely think I prefer just a brown sugar bubble tea or something like that, but it's not bad. I'd give it also maybe an eight out of 10. I love the fresh milk taste. I love milk and like 
the brown sugar as well. Sweet milk is like delicious. So, okay, so we did go to a few more places and we couldn't find the chrysanthemum or anything, which is funny because I've seen it at many other places before. But now we're gonna go take all of these drinks back and we're gonna go try the bonus things that are my favorite drink to have in Thailand by far. Let's go see what it is. Okay guys, it's time for something special. This is what I was talking about. This is my favorite drink since coming to Thailand. Now I will say that Milo, we have Milo in Australia. So when I saw that there was Milo here, I just thought that I was gonna get like Milo at home. But tell, let me tell you, it is not the same. It is so much better here. And I had actually my first Milo at this stand right here with this man, this Milo man. I call him Milo man. Michael was like, you have to try Milo. And I was like, no, I don't have to try it. We have it at home. And he was just like, no, this is the best. And it is. So I'm gonna try Milo, but I'm also gonna try Ovaltine and Coco because everyone who's new here, hi everyone. You all think that Ovaltine is the same as Milo. And when I can't get Milo, you're all like, try Ovaltine. No, it is not the same. I am team Milo and we're also gonna try Coco. So tell me if you're team Milo, Ovaltine or Coco in the comments, but we're gonna get all three right now and put them to the absolute test. Let's go. Milo. Ovaltine and Coco. Three. Chai ka. Milo? Milo. And Coco? Coco. Okay. And Ovaltine. Bubble tea. Ovaltine? Huh? Oh. Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Yeah. Okay. I buy that one as well, it's okay. No. I'll buy it. Tara, right? Okay. No, it's okay. You keep. For you. Kapunka. All the drinks today I've had, by the way, were 25 baht. Um, he accidentally made me a bubble tea. He thought I said bubble tea instead of um, oval team. So I ended up just giving him 100 baht just because. I paid for the one he made by mistake. Maybe he couldn't hear my accent as well. Maybe it was the way I spoke, so. Okay, I am back. I have all of my drinks from this morning, but the ones that we're going to try are the Milo, the Coco, and the Ovaltine. Dun dun dun! I really like this butterfly one from this morning. It's pretty nice. It's really refreshing on a hot day like today. So, down to the crunch. Ovaltine, Coco, and Milo. Are they all the same? Let's find out. First of all, we're gonna save the best for last and we're gonna have the Ovaltine first. So let's give it a little bit of a mix. It's not bad. I will say it's more malty. It kind of tastes almost like a white malt drink and it's just a little bit less flavor to me. I'm trying to be nice to Ovaltine. I'm really trying. I'm just so team Milo. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's Ovaltine. Now the one I'm really interested in here is the Coco. So I'm expecting this to taste, especially from the color, it's like really dark brown. I'm really expecting this to taste like chocolate, like a chocolate milk. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what, that that tastes like full dark chocolate. Like, you know, like the 100% dark chocolate or something. Bars, it tastes just like that. It tastes just like chocolate powder, like powdered chocolate but the dark chocolate, not the milk chocolate. Definitely tastes like cocoa. I don't think I love this anywhere near as much though, I will say, but still better than Ovaltine. <laughs> Let's move on to the king of the show, my favorite drink that I've ever had in Thailand. And like I said, the Thai milk tea was my favorite before I got here and sort of the first couple of days I was here until I had my Milo. <sighs> I've been waiting for this part all day. That's my favorite. This is the best thing ever. And like I said, we have Milo at home, right in Australia. But what we normally do is scoop it out of the thing into like a glass and then put milk on top and just kind of drink it. It's not like this. It's not like mixed and like melted and like in like this drink. It's just so good. The Milo is more like chocolatey, sort of cocoa-y. Um, but more like a chocolate, whereas the Ovaltine is more like a white malt or like a malt chocolate, if that makes sense. That's what I think the biggest difference was, if you were to ask me, 
why there's a difference between Milo and Ovaltine. Yes, they're very similar. And if you didn't care, I don't think it would matter each one. But we are team Milo around here. <laughs> it's just delicious. I don't know how to tell you why it's delicious. It's just so good. Milo in Thailand, this is the best ever. It's just so good. I don't know why. I, I'm gonna have this whole thing. <laughs> Milo is delicious. Milo is delicious. Milo is delicious. Okay, so that's it for the video today. These are all the drinks I tried. We had probably the one I didn't like the most, which was the Nam Bong. No, Nam Boy with the uh, salted plum, I think. Didn't like that one so much. And my su most surprise was the butterfly. I wish I could try the chrysanthemum, but I couldn't find it today. Now, let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite, which one of these you don't like. Also, let me know if you're Team Ovaltine or Team Milo. Team Milo. Leave a comment below. Let me know which team you're on. Also, like this video before you leave. Make sure you subscribe before you go. If you like this video of me trying these Thai beverages, I know you're going to love the video I have on the screen right now. It's also me trying things in Thailand for the first time. You're going to like that one. Go watch that one after this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.